Hi guys, welcome to my <laughs> my mess. Uh, as you can see, I had a colossal fail here that I'm going to try to save. I've had to remix all my paints uh, to a thinner consistency because uh, this pour I did just didn't turn out. I tried to swipe, I tried different things. Uh, the yellow and a quinacridone in there came out looking more brown, which I didn't like. So uh, I'm just gonna try to do a Dutch pour over it. I don't know if it'll work. Um, using a concoction, my Midnight Blue, it's black mixed with Prussian Blue and some metallic blues. This is what's left over of, it's hardly anything left. I'm just using up what I got here. Uh, Prism Pour Blue Velvet, which is very pretty. This is DecoArt Teal. This is DecoArt uh, Gold, Iridescent Gold Fine. This is DecoArt Copper. And this is, I think this is DecoArt's. Now this is Golden's Pewter. And there's a wee bit of a, an aqua. I'm just going to scrape in. So I don't know what's going to happen with all this white. Oh, I do have white, which I'm thinking of using. I might not, since there's so much in there already. Uh, it's a combination of Artersloft Flow Acrylic and um, Amsterdam White. So <laughs> I don't know how this is going to work at all. This is, again, my Midnight Blue. We're going to Put this all around and might also be too thick but at this point I don't care <laughs> I'm just gonna mix everything up and if it's a mess it's a mess it's going to bring up some of the color beneath there as well which is fine I'm gonna put the pewter down the middle. Okay, so this is a good experiment in using up a bunch of leftover paints. I don't know if it's going to work or not. <laughs> I'm just, I'm faking it today. There's a lesson in faking it. Looks a little thick too. Might be more of a Dutch, chaos Dutch pour. So there's not much of this left. Just the dregs, that's okay. We're just making a mess today. Uh, here's the gold fine. Copper. I'm going to put a little white in these kind of bald areas. Oh, this is going to be interesting. <laughs> Just <laughs> you may or may not see this video on here. It's kind of a mess. Well, it is a mess. As you can see, okay, we're going to get out any bubbles. Maybe I'll try it this way first. That often will get some bubbles out. But I'm still seeing some. Decide which blow dryer to use. I'm going to use this one because it's really hooked up. Oh, 
See, this is not holding the shape very well because I've had to thin the paints out. So it's rather thick, but it is flowing and there's a lot on here. So uh, it will be a chaos pour, you know, rather than that well-formed Dutch pour. Uh, it's going to come out more. I hate to lose this, but there's a lot of paint on here. So here we go. show up again. fail, added a bunch of colors, just blew caution to the wind here, threw caution to the wind, I guess. Of course, I am blowing it to the wind with this. This is not so good here. I'm going to blow that a bit. I like this. I like the black and white in the background, and these colors work really beautifully, much better than the color combination I had before, which, trust me, you don't really want to see. All right, I'm going to try to smooth this out a little bit. And Maybe this little bit too, and uh, see where we go from there.
Okay, I like that. It's funny how so often when you do mistakes and you get a little fed up and you just throw everything together and to see what happens, I think you're more relaxed when that happens. And a lot of times the fails turn out to be really very nice. So it's a chaos Dutch pour. Kind of like the way the black and the white looks in this. I don't know if I want to do anything with my handy dandy chopstick or not. I don't know if it needs it. Maybe a little bit of black and white through there. Fluid art is always surprising. Always. <laughs> you don't always know what you're going to get. You start out with an idea and the paint says, no, I don't like that. I want you to do something different. It takes on a life of its own. Just like any work of art, any uh, writing, uh, characters will take on a, uh, a life of their own. Any painting will do that too. Even if you wind up doing what you want to do, it, uh, when it comes out, it will still be its own energy and its own life, which I, one thing I really like about art, same goes with music, anything creative, because you are creating, you are the creator of your own art, your own music, your own writing, whatever that creation might be, your own business plan, and it will have its own energy and its own sense of life. I don't know if I want to pull that across here or not. Hmm. I really am liking this. Still a little more bubbles in here I'm going to have to torch. Just bringing out certain lines a little bit that I think might add to it. I don't want to wreck it too much. Um, <laughs> it's different, isn't it? Let's see, do I want to do anything with that? Decisions, decisions. Hmm. Kind of heads it into the center here. I don't want to bring this up because I don't want to wreck this nice little copper line here. Wasn't there a song about copper line? I think it was a, a Jackson Brown song. I could be wrong. It could be, uh, it was Jackson Brown. If anybody out there knows, let me know. Down on copper line, down on copper line. My singing voice isn't doing as well today as it usually does. Okay. I think that looks a little wonky. Just bring that in. This is kind of interesting, a little line behind it. Uh, I actually don't mind that. That adds a little bit of interest, I think. Okay, I'm going to torch this one more time, and I'm going to scrape my edges <laughs> and call this mess done. And now it's a lovely Dutch chaos. <laughs> Most of the paints I used were mixed with Krista's Mix, and I will give you her email down below in case you want to order Mix. Um, when you mix paints with it, that's all you need is her Mix. It's very thick. You can add water to it if you want. 
Uh, it gives it a nice translucent quality, which you can already see through here. Some of the paints, like this white, uh, are mixed with Floetol, so I can see a few little, little tiny cells here and there, but it's not very much. All right, thank you for joining me in this creative mess. I hope you enjoyed this process. Um, I hope you like it. Let me know what you think at the bottom. Thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. And if you had fun with this, like I finally did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you all later. And I'll bring you uh, photos of it when it dries well. Bye-bye.